Hey you guys, it's Jade and we are live at South by Southwest having some fun and Sarah Watkins is in the house or on the patio. On the porch. <laughs> on the porch. Uh, yeah, how has South by been treating you so far? It's great. It's, it's, a, it's a whirlwind as always. I think uh, I'm always amazed. I, I, I mean, I, I know what I have to do here. Like, like as far as like the schedule yeah. that's been set. How many, like, how many shows do you advantage. have to play? Uh, two today, just just two, like a couple of stops before, and then two to two like shows. Okay. And then uh, yesterday were like three things. Um, so it's it's actually pretty civilized. Yeah. But um, but I, I always look around. I'm like, where where are these people going? Like, there's so many. Yeah. There's th there are so <laughs> many options that they, there there are many different uh, choose your own adventure paths like infinite i feel like that's okay. south by southwest is like choose your own adventure and everyone has a very different south by southwest experience yeah, yeah i think so yeah you come back and it's totally different uh yeah you and i both were just uh before we start rolling here talking about we talk off camera it's yeah cool. it's cool yeah, we'll, we'll share it with you but uh yeah it's been like 10 years for both of us since last coming back here so why did you decide I'll, I think I'll I think I'll do it again. I'll, I'll come back to well, because it's good to to check back in. You know, I feel like um, there a lot of a lot of from 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 a performer's perspective, it's it's less about me trying to be discovered. Not that everyone knows me by any chance, but I just don't really have it. I can't trust that that's going to happen. That there'll be like some breakout thing or like some awakening to whatever I do yeah. here. Um, that's not really why I come here. I come here to like to be a part of the community with the other bands to um, to get to see you know see them and just kind of be in the mix and and just continue to, to take part in the conversation of of our of our careers and what our what we do you know and yeah. and uh, and to maintain those relationships and to um, to to just kind of stay connected to people because you do, you have to really be proactive to do that you know and yeah. um, in these off tour months I've, I've been home for like a few weeks for the first time in a very long time and uh, so it was nice to kind of check back in. Well, and you're to, to something like this to, to come back and just kind of feel like, oh, I'm like seeing a bunch of my friends and meeting some new friends, and it's great. Yeah, well, you, you've got a, a kind of uh, reunion or coming together with friends, the I'm With Her project that you guys have been doing for a while. Aren't you going back out with Punch Brothers pretty soon here? Yeah, my friends Aoife O'Donovan and Sarah Rose and I have a trio that uh, we've had it for a few years now, and... Um, and we're gonna go out and do 20 or so dates with Punch Brothers and Julian Lange, just as part of the American Acoustic Tour. Uh, it's pretty limited touring, but um, it's just like a special project. Yeah. And then, um, and then I'm gonna take the fall off, and then next year we're gonna do some more stuff with them with her. And That's I really love cool. that band. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, if we, if you don't mind going back, like, why? What brought all of you guys together? Was it? friendships or we've known each other for a very long time and we've been fans of each other and then the 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 minute that it happened was at uh the telluride bluegrass festival we were all on a workshop set, set to do a workshop together with a, a couple other people yeah. and um we asked like hey does anyone want to get together and like you know like practice a song or like figure out something we can all play together mm -hmm. and i think only sarah and ethan i showed up and um, because there's just so many things to do at a festival, yeah. but but we we it worked out for all of us to be there, and and so we worked out some harmonies to you know an old gospel song that we all knew, and it was really fun, and and uh, and we loved it, and we did one other thing at that festival together, and and uh, it w it felt like like the follow up to a date <laughs> after that because there was there was to the texting of. Hey, that was really fun, right? We should we should do it again. That right? felt pretty good, like, right? I, I had a good time. I did you like that kind of, <laughs> and and uh, and then we quickly realized that all of us felt the same way, and um, and so we we toured for three weeks in the UK a couple years ago. We uh, we've recorded together. We've we went to, we've gone to Japan and done like four like we've done uh, played in Canada a lot, like limited things, but uh, but really fun um, uh, sort of particularly not domestic shows the sort of like out of our out of our normal fields and it's uh, it's been a, a great project so far we, we really love playing together and we we hang out well and we travel well and we eat well together Heck which yeah. is um, which is 
the other side of being a band. Yeah. You spend more time doing that than actually you, playing together. You have to like the people. I think that's yeah. a, an important factor if you're going to be doing it and having it's like such huge amazing experiences yeah. with them. It's a huge factor. Well, we, uh, we drove down from Minnesota, and uh, while we were driving down, we uh, wrote down a couple of questions that were just on our mind for uh -oh. any artist in particular. Uh, so grab, grab three out of the hat and just put them three. in my hand. Yeah, man. I know. Think, whoa, you did that fast. I like that. No nonsense. Good crap there. <laughs> All right. Ooh. What was the decision that changed the course of your life? Uh I don't I don't know what um what the like, the decision was. I've I've gotten some good advice over the last couple over the, the many years of my life. Um one was by my dad when, uh, when I, I was feeling really anxious and sort of paralyzed by some, some choices. And, uh, and he was like, whatever you do, just don't stall out. Just make, make, just take a step forward. It's way easier to pivot than to start up again. Yeah. So just keep moving slowly. And um, that, that advice is something that I've, that, I've, um, that I've thought about a lot and checked in with. And, um, I think ultimately that has changed my life a lot. Yeah, because that's a, that's something that I think happens to a lot of us where you get sort of frustrated or feel like you're in a rut. Is that because you've been in bands, you've done solo stuff, and now you're back, you know, doing the the trio uh, with I'm with her. Was was that sort of a pivot moment where you were kind of like I don't? Was there any sort of exhaustion there? Or well, for it, me, for me, the it, each project I I've, I've been really lucky in that. I'll do a solo project and then I'll have an opportunity to collaborate like, right after, typically. Yeah. And that is huge for me because I don't really want to do m my own show for the rest of my life. Like, I, I like to do it for like nine months, a year and a half, promote this record that I'm really proud of. Yeah. Like, Young and All the Wrong Ways, we've been doing that. But I don't know that, like, right, that, you know, after this summer, I will have another album in the bank and want to go out and do that again. I get tired of, of my, just me. I get tired of me and I want to, um, maybe it's having grown up in a band that I, I, I like to check back in with that. And so after the first record I got to, I was exhausted of a year and a half of, of, of really kind of tiring, tiring travel. And, and um, I was invited to be a sideman in the Decemberists for, for an album. And like, that was huge for me because I got to work and I got to like be a part of this beautiful thing that they have, and they were so welcoming. And I got to like rest and read and like figure out, you know, like just check in back in with myself and like yeah. watch movies and talk to people and be be a better friend and like without all the weight without of, having the logistic yeah. the whole weight of it down on, on me. And and then after that, I like through that I got to write my second album. And then after that, we did some Nickel Creek stuff again. And so. It's it's been alternating my whole career, um, after, since since uh, since we put Nickel Creek on the shelf in 2007, and I really thrive with that. I need to have, I need to switch gates every every so often, and um, it lets it lets one thing recharge and and energizes the other, and, and um, that that alternation is really important for me. Yeah, keep it dynamic. Uh, are you somebody who remembers your dreams? Sometimes, do you have do you have like a weird dream that you remember? I mean, I have dreams that have the reoccurring places. Yeah, that only exist in my dream that I like. There's a festival set. There's a festival setup that I've gone been to like three or four times, and nothing ever good happens at this festival. Is, is it always like the mic's not working? You don't remember the lyrics to your own song? It's just a mess. Like I can't <laughs> ever get anywhere, and it's like terraced. And it's just, it's just, it's just a mess, and it rains, and it's, it's, it's a total drag. Um, yeah. I have dead air dreams all the time. Do you really? Yeah, always. Like I can't turn the mic on. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big issue. I've had dreams where I, I can't see, and I think I'm actually trying to open my eyes in my, in my sleep. Like I, I can't read something, or I can't see it, and I think, I think I'm actually trying to. I, That's your body being like. Feel my eyelids over. Up. Yeah, but it's nighttime. It's not time to wake up. No. Sarah, go back to bed. Night, time to sleep. No <laughs> dreams. Uh, one last question here that's a little bit more of like a South by Southwest one. 
breakfast, lunch, or dinner taco, and why? <sighs> I know well, it's the toughest South, of all at, the at questions. At <laughs> they love their tacos here. They really, do. I'm, I'm a taco fan. They really love their tacos here. I tend to eat breakfast tacos here more than other meal tacos because the, um, it's, it's protein. It's a good way to start. Uh, it's a good base. You have to have a nice base. base. It's portable. It's fast. They show up sometimes places and you can just grab a taco and, and yeah. it's great. It's like the magic of South by Southwest is that there's usually a taco somewhere near you. Somewhere. Yeah. And breakfast seems to be the time when, I, when it's the most available to me. Most important. Are you yeah. are you a salsa on your taco? Yes. Yeah. Any particular? I like heat. Oh yeah, I'm all about that. Yeah. Well, we are live at South by Southwest with Sarah Watkins, and uh, one last question for you before uh, we say goodbye and you go off to your shows. Um, so you drove down here. We drove down here, man. How long did that take? Sixteen hours. And you only have like ten questions in that. <laughs> We've lost some along the way. Really? Yeah, it's been. That was slow work. I know, you guys. Hey, hey. There was a lot of there was a lot of other things that needed to happen in the in the van. Lots of bonding needed to occur. Wow. We played some games. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> to only ten questions. Don't don't ruin the illusion of our, our massive That's hat. Nothing in that hat. <laughs> uh, there's only three questions. Uh, so <laughs> we're from Minnesota. Uh, you know, we're big Prince fans, and now that we're coming on the the year since Prince passed away, and you know, all of us are kind of reflecting on it. Uh, we've been asking musicians and collecting maybe thoughts, stories, memories. Maybe there's a song in particular of his that um, has stood out to you, if you have anything to share. Yeah, I mean, I I, I never got to see him live. I, I, he was doing a residency in L.A. Uh, for a while, like five years ago or so. And it was like a monthly residency. Maybe, like, maybe it was every couple of weeks. Yeah. I didn't get to go. I really, really should have. But I had some friends who, who were able to go there, and they said it was just... It was just, like, jaded musicians were just so impressed by, um, by how, uh, like, musically it was thrilling and, and visually just, they, it felt like they walked away with all of their senses completely tickled yeah. by, by, that, uh, by that show. And, um, yeah, I mean, there aren't, there aren't a lot of people who have that kind of um, 360... Uh, that the energy to, to present something in that in that 360 degree kind of kind of way. Yeah, um, I think it was very special. Yeah. Uh, well, Sarah, are you? You said you're not sure if there's going to be a, a, an album from you on the way, sort of solo wise. Are you solo thinking about wise, going back in the studio? Well, or? yeah. I mean, we'll do some more stuff. We'll do one with her stuff next year. Okay. Uh, with Sarah and Aoife. Um, so uh, that will give me that will give me a minute to uh, to figure out my next solo record. Generally, there's like three, four years between my solo records. I don't have a, you know, I need to need to figure out what I have to say. I, I'm not a big fan of, of, um, I don't know. I, for for me, I, I tend to need to, to have something that I need to sort of process and get off my chest or work through. And, um, and when that happens, I, I end up writing things that, that I end up wanting to sing about. So uh, whenever that happens, I'll, I'll put another put another record out. But for the meanwhile, I'll be touring this album through through July at least, and then uh, and then there'll be there'll be other projects. Love it. Well, there's always something to look forward to with Sarah Watkins. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. It's Jade, and we're live at South by Southwest. Thanks for watching.